they design not only the Columbia and St. Clair, but also in Buffalo, where we're taking her next, they designed the Canadiana and the Americana, which both are were scrapped, unfortunately. So people in Buffalo are excited to have Columbia come because they just recognize this boat as something from their past and something they're still familiar with. And the same with New York City. The great Clinton River day boats, the Alexander Hamilton, the Peter Stuyvesant, were all built by Kirby and O'Keel. So when you talk to New Yorkers, those boats last went out of service in the early 70s, but the people who remember it still talk about the ballrooms, and I mean, you still get this sense of how Columbia designed all these boats for. I say one boat is one boat is like enough to deal with sometimes, but we, we want to be a, a help in any way we can. Of what we've learned already in this restoration process, we'd love to pass along everything. So uh, I believe so. Yeah, we're we're reaching out to try to make connection, and we love yeah. connection. Yeah, they, they said they're they're waiting for engineering. Oh, is this what I heard yesterday? Yes, yes. But I was told that here was too. Yeah. So it's a lot of work to take on a project like this. To get a Could you have to be nuts? To get a commercial <laughs> license for the state of New York department. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Um, the answer is no, but we might think about doing that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> because so much is grandfathered in, and uh, that's a big question. You need to change your emotions. You need it to the grandfather. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly oh, yeah. it. You start changing too much.
At that point, the boat will essentially be stabilized. We're going to start doing some cleanup on the inside here so that it sort of gives people a poor idea of what she could look like. It's really hard to get funders to like, Oh, look, I, I'm not sure how we're going to work. So we're going to clean her up. And at the same time, we're also going to start to have as much public programming as we can so that it doesn't become a case where she's kind of out at the end of the pier and you're like, oh, what's happening with that boat? I mean, we want to be part of, of the cultural scene in Buffalo. Uh, we'll be there for a couple of years, one year, two years, depending on how long it takes to get the money for the tow. <coughs> It'll be the yeah. tow yes. down to New York Harbor. Um, and then we'll actually only be in New York Harbor for a couple of weeks because the salt water goes through the fresh water over life. So some significant changes we need to make to, to kind of beef her up for the salt water environment. So we're going to tar up the Hudson River uh, 90 miles to the city of Kingston, New York. It's a tributary right off the Hudson River. Um, and that's that's where the bulk of the restoration work on the uppers, on the upper decks, will be done. Um, the way that we have it phased is uh, we have what I call fundable chunks. And what I've done is broken it down so that I know how exactly how much money I'm going to need to start and finish any given project. So that way we're not in danger of opening the boat up saying, oh, oh, look, we have no money. And then she's open up to the weather and, and you know, exposed to all sorts of weather she shouldn't have. Yes, sir. Is there, yeah. is there a website where we can follow the progress on the reservations? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll, we'll post. Um, it's, it's supposed to be my job to, to post things, and I'm really bad yes. at it. <laughs> but you can look at sscolumbia.org. Okay. Yes. And uh, we also have a Facebook page. Yeah. Okay. And so we do have you know, frequent updates. Um, so she's going to be able to go down the ocean. But you said she was going to pick it. <laughs> I got faith. You said that she's. That's River of Saltwater? Uh, oh, yeah. No, New York Harbor. Oh, New York Harbor. Oh, okay. New York Harbor is an estuary okay. up to a certain okay. point. Oh, right. so, New York Harbor. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be. Yes, sir. Why did you choose one over the other? One, one. Both. 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 Um, I think because this one we could get and the other one we couldn't. The other, one was already sold. Sold. Right. Yeah. the other one was already sold, I think, to, yeah. that, to that doctor. Yeah, yeah. so, um, you know, I think there's, they're, they're both quite legitimate posts. They're both ready to be restored. We just have this to... is the oldest of the two, though. Yeah, yeah. yep, she is. Um, and, and what I've told people before is I've, I've been involved with probably 10 large historic vessel restoration projects. Really? And it's always interesting because nobody who buys these boats ever asks me, like, the basic question, do you think we can restore it? Do you think it's worthwhile? Do you think we can do it? And many times I've walked on boats and been like, forget it. There's nothing here. It doesn't really matter how much money you throw at it. The heart is, is gone from the boat. And it took me a while for this boat. I was like, I don't know. And then spending a little time on here one day, I was like, what? I think she still has it in her. Mm -hmm. well, I think she, she does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Thank um, you very much. Thank you. Anybody has any Thank like, you. good questions? I'm kind of not making my friends. Sorry? This was the one that was shrink Both of them were shrink And I'm actually, actually interestingly, I was at a tugboat camp for years before I started this job. I had a job at the Detroit River. And I didn't know about these boats at all. And we're going by, you know, with the river, and like, oh, look, they look like really cool boats up there. I wonder what those are, huh? Wow, they're shrink wraps. Boy, I hope there's not word underneath that. There probably is. Boy, I feel sorry for whoever's job it is going to be to restore those. <laughs> <laughs> Use video or just stills? Um, just do yeah, okay.
First yeah. thing you do is pull all the heads, get some move down there before you even think about it. Um, my guess is, you know, we may we may break the piston rods yes. loose and turn it over that way, something like that. Yeah. But uh, we don't want to do that. So I'm gonna slowly usher everyone off, and thank you, Gary. Really get to your head. There's another group coming around who wants to kind of keep to our twenty okay. percent boat. Michigan, about okay. 200 miles from here. Cool. But I rode this quite a bit. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Here, you're welcome. We were starting to get ushered off. No, you guys can say. So, go talk to Gary. It works on that. Excuse me. Um, oh, Thank I'm, you. Uh, sure. Um, I also work for a Thank you. Appreciate it. Hi. 